Hello friends, today in this video we will discuss something new and interesting features regarding Excel that are provided by Automation Anywhere. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end and before that if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the latest topics. So without any further delay, let's start our discussion for the day. So to start our day, we will begin with the filter table command. This command basically filters a table within an Excel sheet. This command works with XLSX, XLS, XLSB and XLSM file. So now we will see the functionality of filter table command. So before that, we need to first of all open the excel file or open the workbook so drag and drop the open command give the session name so in this case i am giving filter table select the desktop file tab and browse the file from the particular location so my file is located at the desktop location so I am selecting the desktop as the folder or the location and then select the file. After selecting the file, click on open button. Come to the bottom and check the sheet contains say header checkbox. Then click on save. Copy the session name since we will use the same session name while using the filter table command so drag and drop the filter table command and give the session name that we have given in the open command so in the table name pass in the table name that is table 1 and select column name as the option or check the column name button and pass in the column name so I am giving as name as the column name and then select the text option here we have various options which we can select like equals does not equal begin with end with contains and does not contain so here I am using equal to uh, condition and in the value I am giving my name then click on save now you might be wondering that in the table name field we have passed table 1 but not the data table variable that we normally use so now we will tell you how this table 1 came from so go to your input file or input excel file and select the range of the data that you have and then go to or click format as table under the home tab and then click on any format you want and then a window will pop up which will be named as format as table in which your range will be by default selected as we have selected from A1 to C5 so we can see in the text box the range is by default selected as A1 to C5 and by default my table has headers chatbox will be checked so keep it as it is and then click on OK so now your table has been formatted or converted into a table format or so as you can see in the design tab there is table name field in which there is table 1 written so copy this table 1 and paste it in your table name field so this is how we draw this table 1 now we will run the program and see the output So the excel file has been filtered with the specified value that we have given 
so we had given in the input that the excel sheet needs to be filtered with value where name is equal to abhishek so it has filtered the excel file where the name was abhishek so there were two records in the excel file so this is how you can use the filter table command the next command that we will discuss is the find command the find command basically is used to find the content in an excel file this action works with excel assets xls xlsv xlsm and csv file the output will be returned in a list variable since the output that is returned is the address of the cell where it finds the content or where it matches the content in the excel file so drag and drop the find command give the session name that we have given in the open command and in the from field we have the various options like beginning and active cell specific cell so this specifies from where we want to begin our search or from where we need to find the content so in this example i am selecting as beginning and in the till field there is also the same options that we have in the from field so in this case i am selecting as end and pass in the value which you want to find in the excel file suppose in this example i am taking my name that is abhishek and we have two options under the search under the search so we can search either by rows or by columns so we are selecting by default search option as by rows if you want you can check the match case check box and since it will check the case if we check this check box and if we check the match entire cell content so it will check all the content in the excel file that we have passed in under the find field and assign the output to a list variable so we will create a list variable that is v list and then create and select and then click on save button now use the message box command to display the output so select the list variable that we have created and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program so the output that we have got is a3 because it returns the cell address where it matches the content so we had passed abhishek in the find field so it found the content at a3 location so the output displayed is a3 so this is how you can use the find command the next command that we will discuss is the find next empty cell command this command basically finds the next empty cell in the excel spreadsheet this action works with excel assets xls XLS, xlsv and xlsm file so now we will see the functionality of this command that is the find next empty cell command so drag and drop the find next empty cell command and give the session name that we have given in the open command now we have two options under traverse by one is by row and the second is by column so when we will traverse by row so the next empty cell that will be present will be returned as the output and under start from command we have two options that is active cell and the specific cell so we will use specific cell that is a1 we will pass in the cell address and we will traverse by row and we will assign the output to a variable that is 
we are selecting prompt as assignment for now then click on save use the message box command to display the output so again it will return the cell address where it finds the next empty cell so select the prompt assignment from the drop down and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program so the output that we will get is d1 as we are traversing by rows to find the next empty cell so the output that we have got is d1 since we are traversing by row row by row so the next empty cell that the bot or the program found was d1 so this is how you can use find next empty cell so you can try to traverse by column and see the output what output you get the next command that we will discuss is the get cell color command so this command retrieves the color of the specified cell and returns the output in the rgb format this action works with xlsx xls xlsb and xlsm file so now we will see the functionality of get cell color command so drag and drop the get cell color command give the session name as that we have used in the open command now we have two options under the background color or the text color so there are two options like whether we want to retrieve the background color or the text color so we are selecting the background color by default and we will pass in the specific cell or you can pass the active cell as well so in case of active cell the cursor which will be active at the time of running will retrieve the color of that active cell so it is it is better you specify the specific cell and pass in the cell value and assign the output to a string variable so for the meantime i am selecting prompt assignment that is which is the by default variable and then click on save now to display the output we will use the message box command under the message box command we will select the prompt assignment variable so we are making the background color of a1 as red or whatever you want suppose we are keeping it as blue and accent one save the file and now we will run the program to check what output we will get so the output that we have got is in the form of rgb format where the value of red is 68 the value of green is 114 and the value of b is 196 so you can try the other option that is the text color and and check what's the output for that and mention the output in the comment section so this is how you can use the get cell color command i hope you would like my video please do watch like and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss out on the latest topic till then have a great day